morning everyone so it is is it the 10th today i think so which is a thursday and i just got up well i haven't i've been up since about quarter past six um with florence she's all fed and ready for the day and i have just done peas breakfast it's now about 10 past seven and i'm just pottering around doing chores um, I didn't film yesterday. I'm going to talk and make the bed as I go. Um, is this going to focus? Okay, I'm going to talk and make the bed as I go. I didn't film yesterday. I was intending to, but I just decided to put up a pre-record because I was just so bored of filming myself doing the same stuff every day. And I'm not going to lie, today is going to be <coughs> very similar um but it's just it is what it is at the moment and i'm not going to go out and do things for the sake of the vlog because i just don't think it's right um so another home day <laughs> um i need to get p ready for school soon i need to she's got packed lunch today so i need to make, make her packed lunch florence is having a disco in the, in the hallway you okay is that good it's a bit loud. Thank you. I can't get over how dark it is outside. Like it's absolutely pitch black. It's horrible. Hang on. Hello. Rank. So, so I'm now going to be productive. I've got to tidy up the mess from Tinsel and Twinkle which is all of this so kind so kind so i've got to do that make her lunch there's my tea hiya yes you've got packed lunch today what is it uh curry and jacket potato yeah yeah and then what have you got for your breakfast bubble and toast and an orange cheese box Good girl, lovely. Okay, so I have packed Pea's lunch and in there she has got some raisins. In this tin foil is some chicken snacks. She's got some quavers and she's got yogurt and then in here she's got some strawberries. And then in here she has got malt loaf. So that's that packed and she's got her water. And then I need to pack in her library book. I don't know why she picks the tattiest books. Um, today's library day so they're going to do that and then she's got her little lol snud to obviously keep her neck nice and warm uh, so let's pack her bag I've done her reading and all of that so that's all written and now I've just got to do like a general tidy oh, good morning good morning my feline are you okay oh you good girl you're so beautiful up 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 Good girl. See you. Beautiful. <laughs> Good girl. Come on, Florence, you're going to come with me? Come on, because I've got to get dressed. Come on, then. Are you going to follow me or are you going to stay in there? Hey, bye. See ya. Yesterday, we also finished... Um, his Christmas tree that she started so I need to take a picture of this actually and put it on tapestry and then it's got writing on the back um, I can't show you because it's got her class name and there's some weirdos out there um, but yeah that is that done oh here she comes hi yeah my woman I have done the majority of my makeup apart from mascara because basically the mascaras that I've got are just all crap and um they wow um they i can't get over how blue i am can i not just be like red or green no okay cool um, there we go that's better um basically my mascaras that i've got just constantly make this bit black and i can't stand it like underneath my eyes yesterday i went and spoke to a different pharmacist because i was in so much pain with my arm and then i got into the car 
and realised that I had black dots and it wasn't just like a tiny bit like it was prominent it looked like I had moles all underneath my eyes so I've had to use clear mascara which has done fuck all for my eyes um so I'm gonna try and get there's one on um Amazon that I can order but I am gonna go to Tesco's this morning because I need to get my Christmas TV mag because I forgot to get that so I'm hoping to be able just to get like a little cheapy waterproof one for now because my eyes just water constantly at the moment. Right, I need to get dressed. I just want to live in joggers, but it's ten past eight. We're actually ahead of schedule today, which is nice. I thought I'd show you the cream that I got given yesterday. He seems to think, whoops, that my arm is like a fungal issue, which makes me feel ill, like... Am I going mouldy, like fungal? Um, it's really red and sore today. It was yesterday as well, which is why I went and got a second opinion because that dermal was just doing nothing and it just felt pointless and I was in so much pain because um, it's so hot to touch. Um, but it has seemed to help. It doesn't look great, um, but it has helped it slightly so i'm hoping this bad boy is going to be the same and it's going to work i haven't got anything anywhere else it's literally just here and it's really really sore i need to stop touching it um so i got this from the pharmacy it was four pounds he was like is that okay i was like i don't care what it costs like as long as it works i don't care and he said to try it and if it helps it slightly he said to try it for a week or two and then um if it helps it slightly just continue with that if not go to the gp because the gp should see me i've got glitter underneath my eye um oh, i don't understand he was really shocked and i was like oh it's my second baby he was like oh really like you haven't you never had this with your first and i was like nope and she's five so fuck knows thanks florence thanks a bunch really appreciate this this fungal issue on my arm hey Swine. Right. Anyway, I need to get dressed. Florence is in her cut. And we had to lower that yesterday because um obviously the day before I was like, oh, she's standing up, like I need to I need to get her changed, and then obviously you forget because life. And uh <laughs> yesterday morning I put it down for a nap and I just had a crash and then a, a scream. Um Florence had fallen out of her cot and she had landed in the washing basket and then tumbled out. So that was an experience at like half past nine yesterday morning, but she is fine. Um, I think it was just a shock more than anything. I was shocked, um, but no cuts, no bumps, no bruises. Wow, I look, I don't think I'm aging very well at all. I just, I need a face transplant. Are you ready? Yeah. Right, let's go. Will you help me? Come on, let's go. Just walked in the door from the school run and popping to Tesco. No waterproof mascara, not ideal, so I have to order one online and just deal with what I've got for now. Can I get away with filming like a, a proper video like this? Do I really care? No. Um, Florence is crawling around. I thought I'd quickly show you some bits that I picked up. Well, one thing that you'll see again in Neil's Christmas present video. So many of you, I didn't realise how many people wanted to actually see what Neil got in his stocking and in for his Christmas presents. Um, so I'm going to film that today, hopefully. But that won't go live for a little while. Um, so I wanted to talk about these <laughs> in case they all get sold out because there were hardly any left on the shop floor when I went to my Tesco's and I go to a big Tesco's. I go to a, an ex extra, is it what that's what they're called? Dairy milk, great big box of fingers. So in here you get five packs of chocolate fingers. They should have been five pounds and they, if you have the club cards, they do like club card prices. Two pounds fifty. So this is gonna be a Christmas present for Neil on behalf of the children. It's massive. Um, so as like a little extra or like a teacher gift, I probably should go back and do that. I don't know if they're allowed to accept gifts this year. But like is it like a little gift with a mug or something like that would be a brilliant present for two pounds fifty. So I just had to share that before the Christmas present video because these are probably going to sell out like hotcakes. So I got some of those. 
And then whilst I was there, I just grabbed some mini cheddars. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened to the festive shape mini cheddars? That's not okay. Do they not exist anymore? Back in the day, there used to be mini cheddars, but like Christmas trees and stars and things like that. These are just mini cheddars. I could have bought some mini cheddars in a packet. The whole point of buying these was they were going to be in a Christmas shape. Well, that's pissed me off. What is going on with the world? And then, tree slips. They were, should have been two pounds, went down to 150 each for the club card price. Love that club card price thing, by the way. Tesco, as much as I spend a lot more money there, because obviously there's much more, much more variety, Tesco are price matching Aldi and their club card prices. They are killing it. I absolutely love Tesco. Especially with the scan in your shop, so much easier. Tissue paper to wrap up some things for pee. Um, and then, this is what I'm gonna do later today. What's on TV? Double issue, £1.40, plus the best of Netflix. I'm, I'm all here for that. Um, 19th of December to the 1st of Jan. So I'm going to sit down and circle things that I'd like to watch. I know I can do it electronically, but my TV guide only goes to so far. And I want to know what to expect. So, And I also need to, I like to cross-reference. So I like to have it down. And then when the days come up, I can then look at my, my circles and then press record. Life is so exciting, it's thrilling. Right, um, I need to give Little Miss her breakfast. Um, probably might do eight ounces today um, of porridge. I need to put away my washing up. I need to do a deep hoover today. I've got um, a big vax over here. I was gonna lift the hoover and I thought that wouldn't be a good idea. I've got that. Um, that used to be my mum's, but because my mum she has COPD, so she struggles to like lift heavy things, especially when it's cold. So she gave me that to like deep clean my carpets because she uses like a little run around thing. Um, so I've got to deep clean my carpets, film that Christmas video. I really can't be asked to do that today, but I just need to get it done. Now I can edit it tonight because Neil's on call. Um, what else do I need to do? Just general mum tidying that I've been doing this whole vlogmas. So if I'm not filming, that's what I'm doing. Right, I need. To, I also need some breakfast because I'm ravenous. My arm is giving me some grief, it's very itchy. <sighs> right, okay, let's be productive. Do you want some breakfast? Yeah, <coughs> hat hat to you too. Can we stop coughing please? Hey? Thought I'd better check in with you all. I have just sat down to film what he, what Neil got for Christmas. I filmed everything. I filmed his stocking and I filmed his main gifts and everything like that. So I don't know when that'll go up. That'll go up in the space from now until Christmas. <sighs> oh my god. Right, so it is five to one and I have just been sat in the sitting room. I watched a lovely programme. Um, I filmed a video. I think my clip cut out for Neil's Christmas stuff. Um, and then I sat down and started crocheting um, whilst watching Christmas at the Plaza. It was on Channel 4. Oh my God, it was lovely. It was just so festive and it was so lovely to see people love their job even though they're working on christmas day they the joy that they have to give other people such an amazing christmas it was so lovely um 
and I'm now watching Sugar Rush waiting for Florence to wake up. I've now discovered that she's got a new routine. So previously she used to do two short naps. So she would do maybe like 10ish till 11, then she'd be awake for a couple of hours and then she would then do like one or like half one till quarter past two. Her new routine which is actually quite nice because I can just get a lot of shit done. I mean, albeit I've been sat crocheting. Um, but her new routine is like a three hour solid stint and then that's it until bedtime. So she's now napped, well, from 10 till 1. So 11, 12, 1. So that's three hours. It's lovely. <laughs> Not going to lie. Um, and yeah, I think... I am going to sell these before Christmas. So I will finish this third one. Hopefully tonight if not tomorrow. Because I have got this video to edit. Um, but this one is white. With a peach scalloped edge. And then I've got the two that I showed previously. Which was the multicolour. And the um, like pastel blue purple cream ombre. And I think. I think pricing is quite difficult. Um because they take me weeks to do and I started getting repetitive strain injury on my shoulder because I was trying to get them out so quick um I think I'm going to sell them for 25 pounds including postage you'll have to leave me a comment below and let me know if you think that that's too expensive or not enough the materials and postage cost me 10 pounds on on its own and obviously they're made with love like I love doing it and they are so lovely and so they're like a keepsake thing I think they're so special you see in my videos how much Florence loves them like they're such like a lovely sensory thing as well but my feedback on Instagram was so varied like I had some people be like I'd pay five pounds <laughs> and I was like okay I had other comments where it was like 40 50 60 pounds and i'm like no way that's too expensive i feel like 25 is a good range but i didn't know whether to do 25 including postage or 25 plus because these are so special and i would never be able to recreate one that quickly if something were to go wrong in the post i would do signed for just so i know that it's there and it's safe um and i think that's like four pounds 50 i need to double check so £10 for materials and postage and then that would then be £15 time which is nothing because like I said it takes me hours I reckon one blanket probably takes me if I had solid time 8 to 10 hours so that's say pound twenty-five ish an hour that I think that's a good price so leave me a comment let me know um so I'm just going to continue crocheting I have got my jacket potato in the microwave I'm gonna have jacket potato and salad for my lunch um but I just think if you've got like a baby for their first Christmas or you know of someone and you want to get them a gift I, I just want to get these three I've only got three I might potentially have a fourth um and the fourth one will either be white with this blue um edging or it might be um a pink polka dot like this one florence has got this one um then yeah so i think i might list them on my instagram but then again some people don't have instagram so i i don't know what i'm gonna do i don't want to put it on etsy because i don't want to get like take 20 percent taken or however much they take hello my woman so yeah that's my blanket chat let me know what you think i should do i just love doing it get your bum out the way Wally. come here hello you're so beautiful yes you are i love you no. the whole thing is just like an uncomfortable thing being like oh how much would you pay never mind 
if people don't want to buy them, Florence has got some lovely blankets. Um, and then I think in the future, I don't really know what's best to do because I don't want the pressure of orders because I'm like, oh my God, someone's expecting that blanket. Even if they say, don't worry, the pressure is there. Whereas if I just crochet like four or five a month and I'd be like, here you go, here's the next lot sort of thing. I think that's going to be the best way to do it. Um, and then if I've got a busy month, then there might be one or two. And then if I've got a quiet month, then there might be five or six, depending if I injure my myself again. I've really pulled my, my arm muscles. Right, let me go and sort out my patata. Just about to sit down and have my lunch. And guess who is awake? So I shall have to wait. Um, hello. Um, hello. <laughs> is there a little Florence in here? Is there? Oh, there she is! Hi, oh. Hi! Can you hide? No? Oh. Are you okay? Do you want some milk? I bet you're very hungry. Yeah, you got your little two piece on today. How was your nap? This is a very one sided conversation, Florence. Can you give me something? Can you say mama? Mama? Uh. Oh. <laughs> Where is she? Where's my little Florency? Where's my little Florence? Hello! Look at your hair! <laughs> it's all over the shop! You okay? Did you have a good sleep? No poos. I'll change you after you've had your milk, okay? Boo! Love you. Come on, should we go make you my milk? Hey. Oh, hello! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Tufty? You okay? There we go, lunch is served. Jacket potato, salt, pepper, um, lettuce, cucumber and Aldi chicken snacks with a olive and white wine, um, olive oil, sorry, and white wine dressing. Has run away with me yet again. It is 20 past three. It is dark outside. Um, picked P up from school and um, I've just made her a snack plate. So she's hang on, she's now eating that in the sitting room. And she has requested a hot chocolate, so I'm now doing that and I'm making myself a coffee. I got this one from Asda. I don't shop in Asda, but I was near one. Um, it's very bitter. Um, I don't drink fancy coffee because I just like instant. I don't have a coffee machine or anything, but it's just not not the nicest. She's standing. She's standing. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. Careful, Florence, careful, careful. Oh, oh dear. You've got to be careful. Yeah, I bet she did. Let me see if I can catch it on camera. Florence started standing yesterday. You're not going to do it again now, are you? You have got a death wish. Do you know that? Make sure that if she stands, make sure you don't touch her hands, okay? Because she uses that to hold on, okay? She looks like she's going to do it. What are you doing? Florence. No. That's not funny. You're too grown up. You want your sister's snack? She must be hungry. Florence, be, be careful. What are you doing? Bubby, I'm not okay with this. <laughs> careful, no, no, no. <laughs> Georgie, look at mummy. Florence. Florence. Are you okay?
Oh my goodness me. <gasps> well, you've soon cracked that, haven't you? Look at her. She wants your snack dues. Right, Florence, please. Come with me. Come on, you're giving me a heart attack. Come on. <laughs> okay. Right, I'll come and get you in a minute. Just let me make a coffee. Please stop standing up. Okay, she's not going to. Oh, God. I'm going to sit here and go through what's on TV. I'll speak to you about my TV chats. And then I'm also, because I just have to be organised, you all know what I'm like. I've mapped out Vlogmas for the rest of the month, just so I know where I'm at. I had an email come through just before I went to go pick Pete up from school to basically say they're shutting um, a day early, which is fine. They're shutting on Thursday the 17th instead of Friday the 18th, um, which is fine. All their festive things are before that date anyway, so I'm okay with that. She's got a festive Santa Dash tomorrow and then... She's got her Christmas meal on Wednesday and like a, a different exciting meal on Thursday and their Christmas jumper days both of those days. So that's that's fine and there's obviously just obviously less risk of um, contamination and passing it all over. And apparently according to the email where I live is quite a high transmission rate. Um, I didn't even know that. So I need to figure out where I'm at. I need to figure out when I'm putting up what content as in like pre-records and things like that I just want to schedule it so I've got it down and then I'll put in like the things that we've got planned like on the 20th uh, which is a Sunday when I finish work like when it gets dark we're gonna go and take pee out for like a McDonald's and um, go and look at like Christmas lights and things like that so I just want to get bits in so I know when to film when not to film Talk TV. Uh, it's been a little while since I sat down to do it because I had to give Florence her food. Um, so what is my summary of the festive TV this year? Um, it's shit. Literally, hardly anything on. I'm not even going to talk about the run up to Christmas Eve because it's pointless even talking about it. Christmas Eve, there is nothing on. I've circled, to be fair, I think Channel 4 is going to be the channel of Christmas Eve. Um, because they've got Snowman, Snowman and Snow Dog, Father Christmas um, and Junior Bake Off. P will like watching all of that. Not that she's going to sit down solidly, but it's just nice to have something on in the background. Um, I'm slightly gutted that there's no new adaptation this year with Channel 4. Because they did Tiger That Came For Tea last year. And I thought they'd do something different this one. Nothing, so cool. Um, there are some good films, but they were all on last year. So we've got Moana, Cars 3, Paddington 2. Um, just not just not great. And then primetime TV is just pants. So I've circled One Night in Hamleys, that sounds good. Lighthearted special which follows Tom Allen, Ramesh and Rob Beckett as the comedians live out their childhood fantasies by spending a night in a London toy shop, taking on a series of challenges. That sounds that sounds like a good laugh. Down for that. Um, Alan Carr's epic game show, Christmas special of The Price is Right. Again, I'm here for that. So I've circled those, but there's nothing like... And then I've got the Gavin and Stacey Christmas special, but I've watched it. Do you know what I mean? Uh, so that's Christmas Eve. Pants. Christmas Day. <sighs> it's just rubbish. I think unless you're into like your soaps, which I'm not, it's just a bit crap. So BBC One has got all the Julia Donaldson stuff. Brilliant. We'll just have that one in the background. And then we've got Zog and the Flying Doctors. Um, which is on at 2.35, looking forward to that. Coco, which is the, like, Pixar film. I'll put that on record. Blankety Blank. Michael McIntyre's Christmas Wheel. 
to be fair, me and Neil do quite like the wheel. The wheel. Um, and then I just can't get over primetime TV on Christmas Day on ITV. Britain's Got Talent Christmas Spectacular. That's not that's not festive. Like, I, don't, I don't watch that. Um, Gogglebox 2020, a roundup of the most memorable moments of the year. It's like as much as I love Gogglebox, we've already watched it. And for that to be on at 10 past nine on Christmas Day, like no. Um, so yeah, that is Christmas Day. There is La La Land on, but again, that's what 2015, 2016. That's old. Boxing Day, literally nothing on. Big Fat Quiz of the Year, I've circled, and Dunkirk, which I appreciate. I'll give that a watch. Um, Cube Christmas Special and Christmas Special for In For A Penny. Love that program. Stephen Mulhern just makes me absolutely die. So that's that. L literally, there was nothing on. Grease on Boxing Day at five. Just, I understand it, but I'm not happy about it. Um, I've circled nothing for the 27th. 28th, what are you saying? I can't remember. I've circled one thing, which is Britain's most expensive houses. Uh, and the Tuesday, 29th, I've circled Deep Impact, cracking film, love that, at 2.30 on Channel 4. And Back to the Noughties with Davina McCall, documentary series. Tonight the presenter looks back on the decade of Channel 4 programmes, including You Are What You Eat, How to Look Good Naked, Skins, Teachers and Sugar Rush. That sounds really good. Um, so I'm going to watch that. And literally that's it. Let me just quickly go to Chris, uh, New Year's Eve. Nothing again. Celebrity Crystal Maze. There's li there's nothing. It's really really poor this year. Um, and New Year's Day, I've circled Doctor Who, and that's it. Merry Christmas. That's my TV chat for 2020. Let's hope next year. Um, I'm a lot happier. To be there are some good things on, like for example, New Year's Day, Great Showman's on. Um, yeah, that's all right, I guess, but we've just seen it loads of times. Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. It just, just feels a bit naff, do you know what I mean? Um, so that's how I feel about that. I am now going to prep dinner. Um, I've actually put Florence down for a mini nap because she is so tired. Don't know how. <sighs> I'm going to speak to you after dinner because I've got so much to catch up on. Um... I get to put on my school wash tonight, which is exciting. Again, peak of excitement on a Thursday doing a school wash. I normally say it's like a Friday or a Saturday, um, but P's got Christmas wear day tomorrow, so I can wash her school skirts and dresses, cardigans tonight, and then I'll do a white wash tomorrow. Cool, I've got nothing else to say. I'm gonna go and cook our noodles and chicken. Yeah. Yeah. But mommy needs to cool that bit. I don't want to. Why? Because I like him how he is. Okay, but mine looks beautiful right now. You're very good at colouring in, aren't you? Yeah. Doing really well. At staying in the lines, aren't I? Mm-hmm. Right, I'm now going to go and cook some dinner, okay? We keep staying here. Yeah, I will. But I just need to... A little bit more. Go and do some cooking. <laughs> this is what dinner is looking like so far. I've got chicken and peppers in a little bit of this, and then I add more once P's got her own portion. And then in here, we have got noodles. Okay, time to tidy up. I've got to put away that washing up, got to do the washing up, and I'm also about to bid on something on eBay, which makes me very anxious. I've got 20 minutes until it ends. So I need to try and do as much as I can before that happens. 
That was a very stressful experience, bidding on that book. Fucking hell. I'm basically buying a Christmas present on behalf of Neil for myself. And if, you're, if you've been watching my videos, my Vlogmas videos, you'll know that I have been obsessed with the Sarah J Mass series um, that I just started, A Court of Thorns and Roses. And I have book two, <clears throat> but I didn't have book three. And they've basically changed all the covers. I don't think I've spoken about this. So the new covers that were published in June are not my cup of tea. I love the old ones that were published when they first came out in 15, 16 and 17. And they're beautiful and intricate and like the spines are beautiful whereas these new ones I don't feel like replicate and represent the style of book that they are. They're just very bright and garish. Um, so I just bidded on a Christmas present uh, from Neil to me. And it was on there for 99p and then literally right up to the last minute it was on there for £2.20 plus postage. And I was like, this is going to be stressful. Like either the people that are watching it aren't fussed um, or they're going to be like me and they're desperate to have it. Uh, <laughs> it was so stressful. It is new, but it just fucked me off that I had to pay so much because it's not in, in production anymore. It's obviously going to be a rare cover. Um, so RLP is 7 99 I paid 9 But that the bids just, they went. And I was like, fuck! My maximum bid was £10.70. So it was very close. But I've got it. Rue, please don't be sick in the kitchen. Rue! Can you hear that? Ugh. She was sick. Looks like gravy on my floor. That was so stressful. Right, I can now continue with my night. I don't think I've ever looked so good on camera before. Um, this video is almost 40 minutes long. I haven't done anything today apart from stay in my house. <laughs> um, that's crazy. If you made it to the end of this video, congratulations. I have clearly demakeuped and had a shower. Um, I've edited up to this point and I'm now going to end it because 40 minutes, 40. That's a very long time. Um, I'm going to make myself a cup of tea and have something to eat. Neil is on call, so I'm not too sure what time he's going to come home. But I'm going to go to bed soon. Read my book. I can just chill out. I was hoping to edit um, the video I filmed today as well. But I just can't be bothered. And I need to dry my hair. I'm not going to film tomorrow because I have sorted out when I need to film. And when I've got pre record So I've got a pre-record coming up tomorrow. My thing's about to run out. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.